too, but I am here to talk about CS449 today, uh, which is a human computer interaction course, and it's going to be offered in the, uh, in the spring. Um, so the goal of this course is to really understand the process of designing new technology to satisfy end user needs. And so to give you a feel of what the course is going to be like, if you take the course, in groups of three or four, you're going to identify a group of end users. You're going to meet with them to figure out what they do, how they do it, what sort of problems they actually have in accomplishing the things that they're trying to do. You're going to redesign a specific task that they do around a piece of technology that you're also going to design. You're going to create mock-ups of that technology of varying fidelities. You're going to start with paper prototypes, move on from there to higher fidelity proto prototypes over time. And you're going to evaluate those mock-ups with end, end users. And you're going to end the course with some sort of high fidelity prototype, some sort of limited functionality prototype, which is really designed based on your understanding of the users that you've worked with. Um, one of the characteristics of the course is that each group must go off campus to work with their chosen group of end users. Um, now, um, example target users that people have worked with in the past, uh, school teachers, realtors, stage managers from a theater company, hobby shop owners, drafters with an engineering firm, bylaw enforcement officers, campus security, newspaper ed editors or journalists or photographers. Newspaper actually comes up a bunch of times. There are really two characteristics to the group of end users that you're going to work with. One is you need to be able to talk to them. So you need to know someone in the group that you can actually you know, uh, work with and, and who can introduce you to other people. And the other is it can't be anyone like yourself. So it can't be project managers at RIM. It can't be students. Um, it also has to be someone who actually really does something. So it can't be like a tourist. People aren't tourists so often that they develop you know, a way of being a tourist. When you're a tourist, you sort of figure it out as you're going along. Um, and so it needs to be you know, people like this, people who've got um, a style of working that they've established, um, a set of things that they do, and problems that they encounter that you can actually work with uh, them in order to solve. In terms of platform, uh, we don't really talk about that until you figure out what you want to do. So people have designed mobile applications. They've designed desktop applications. Really, the, the technology that you use should be based on the characteristic of users that you're working with. Um, and then the last slide. The course components, it's traditional midterm and a final um, um, in the course. And then there's also a course project graded in three phases. The first phase is to understand work practices and breakdowns for the people that you're, uh, you're working with. The second phase is to develop some low fidelity prototypes and a new way of working with those prototypes that hopefully addresses one of the breakdowns or a set of the breakdowns that you've selected. And the third phase is your evaluation of your prototypes and a high fidelity prototype that is really the culmination of the uh, uh, of the work that you've done in the course. And each of these phases has you know, some written component as a deliverable, and then there's typically a poster presentation as well, where everyone in the class can walk around and look at what other groups are doing, because there's no two groups in the class that are actually doing the same thing, which I think is one of the neat things about this course. You can kind of learn from other people and what they're doing at the same time. Um, and so that's the only course I was talking about. So.